Using the power of laser beams as a weapon has been the stuff of science fiction for many years. The basic principle made perfect sense. The power levels needed for military applications, though, were quite unachievable. But that's no longer the case. The application of massive amounts of laser power for neutralizing threats has proven to be a promising area in military systems development in recent years. There are, after all, so many benefits to using lasers compared to conventional ammunition. There are no effects of gravity on the rounds. They travel at the speed of light and without any sound. The output can be controlled at lethal and non-lethal doses. In principle, the magazine holds an unlimited number of bullets. And even though the environment will affect the performance of the laser, this can, to a degree, be compensated for. In addition, even if the system cost is high, the ongoing cost per shot is close to zero. The development of these high-power laser systems presents a unique set of challenges. Thermal effects. At these powers, various system components, which are, after all, made of matter, can experience thermal effects more quickly than at lower powers. These effects can change the system's performance and lead to safety risks. Understanding exactly how these changes can affect system performance, both during development and in the field once commissioned, is critical to mission success. Beam management challenges. During development and testing, it's important to control what happens to the beam, both during and after target engagement, since even a momentary unintended exposure to, say, 100 kilowatts, for example, due to an unintended reflection, is obviously a problem. Ophir has a number of solutions for fully capturing and measuring high-power beams in these applications. The 150 kW can measure up to 150 kilowatts of power continuously, with NIST traceable accuracy and with less than 1% backscattered power. Ophir also offers the 70 kW for powers up to 70 kilowatts. In addition to measuring power, the 70KW also includes real-time laser power monitoring, which enables you to characterize laser rise time, stability, and pulse duration. At the end of the day, the system's ability to successfully destroy a target depends on a number of factors. Power, of course, is one, but no less critical is the power density, the power per unit area incident on the target surface expressed in watts per square centimeter. Thermal effects, as well as environmental effects, can affect both the power and the area, meaning the size and shape of the beam's spot on the target. That aspect is quantified by the beam profile. This refers to the spatial distribution of the power across the beam's cross-section, as well as various parameters of beam quality, such as M-squared, Rayleigh length, beam parameter product, and others, which in general terms are an indication of a beam's ability to focus. There's a great deal of effort being put into developing laser-based systems for military use, both as offensive weapons that can give military forces a real edge, and defensive systems to protect our civilian populations from incoming threats. As laser technology continues to advance, accurate measurement tools and technologies will also continue to advance to help ensure that the directed energy solutions we develop will perform as needed well into the future. To learn more about how Ophir can help you with your application, please contact us directly via our local representatives or visit our website. Mm -hmm.